we're going to go through how to insulate and seal on a flexible joint. So you get these flexible fittings and they've got the plastic coated insulation on. The internal can be really big, up to 42 mil. So that's going to be a bigger area to seal. So we're gonna show you how to seal it up properly. Seal it there and then flange it in so it looks nice. Also, a lot have now started to use our 35 mil insulation onto the flexibles because it gets a nicer bend, nice looking bend, no kinks in it. Also, it's the same procedure to push that through to there and then seal it up onto there properly so we can get a good seal. So we'll go through that now. So we have our flexible fitting, our compression to copper. Push the flexible fitting or the flexible insulation over the compression fitting because that is a lot bigger. So it will fit over there and insulate it. And then your primary pro will then put up to there and then we'll seal it in. Pull the primary pro back, put your bond and seal in and then push it on and then that'll ooze out and then what you'll do is then go around it and then all you do is is flange it in and feather it in for either side we want bond and seal on this side and bond and seal on that so when it expands and contracts to make sure that no water gets inside there as well Now you can see we've sealed inside. We've also put the bond and seal on this side and then flunged in onto that side and made like a cap so no moisture can get in there and it can also expand and contract. We'll leave that for 24 hours. Four hours later. So the perfect seal on there. No energy can be lost and no water can get in there to degrade any of the insulation. 35 or sometimes they're a lot bigger. That's around 42 internal diameter by 19 by 19. And this is the 28 by 19 primary pro or you could use the 35 by 19 uh, primary pro insulation to 28 by 19 insulation and all we're doing is making sure we've got that perfect seal there